Welcome to the deconstruction. Today, we are giving you a three for one special and deconstructing Unisom, Zequil, and Simply Sleep. Three over the counter sleep aids marketed to help you get a good night's rest. Instead of looking at a specific commercial, today, we are going to focus on the packaging since that is how you are most likely to encounter these products. So let's get to it with Zequil. Zequil is marketed as a nighttime sleep aid. The box wants you to know that it's from the makers of Vicks and NyQuil and that it is a non-habit forming drug. They tell us that the active ingredient is diphenhydrin, but they do not list the actual dosage on the front of the box. Now let's have a look at Unisom. Again, they let us know it is a nighttime sleep aid. They refer to this product as Sleep Minis, which we assume is a smaller version of a reference product. They say that it is a non-habit forming drug and mention that they are also the number one pharmacist recommended brand. They also let us know that this product contains 25 milligrams of diphenhydramine HCL. And finally, we have Simply Sleep, and this is a busy package. Again, we see that it is a nighttime sleep aid. And like Zequil, they want us to know that this product is by a trusted brand, so they tell us it is from the makers of Tylenol Extra Strength PM. For the first time, they give us a slogan, fall asleep fast, wake up refreshed. They claim that they are the OTC pharmacist preferred ingredient. And like Unisom, they tell us the ingredient. This product also contains 25 milligrams of diphenhydramine. And as an added bonus for you, the consumer, they throw in that it contains a convenient bottle just to make your life easier. So let's take a minute to review some of the tools used to advertise these products. Unisom and Zequil mentioned that they are non-habit forming drugs. This is to counter some prescription sedatives such as Lunesta and Ambien. Lunesta is a benzodiazepine and works by activating specific GABA receptors in our brain. Ambien is a newer non-benzodiazepine version of the same GABA agonist. Both drugs may be associated with tolerance and thus are labeled as potentially habit forming. The claim that Unisom and Zequil are non-habit forming drugs is true, but we will tell you why you shouldn't be too surprised. The next tool is used when Zequil and Simply Sleep say that they are from the makers of. They are trying to instill brand trust in you. This is supposed to convince you to purchase their respective sleep aids, which we will learn are not that different at all. And finally, how about the fact that Unisom is the number one recommended brand, but Simply Sleep is preferred by pharmacists. It seems here that these companies are really digging into their bag of tricks to try to differentiate their diphenhydramine sleep aids. So, let's have a look at this common ingredient diphenhydramine. What is it, and does it get you to sleep? So Zequil, Unisom, and Simply Sleep all have one thing in common. They all contain diphenhydramine. So why are three different companies trying to sell you the same thing? What is so special about this ingredient? Well, we have a secret to share with you, and that secret is that diphenhydramine is also sold as Benadryl, one of its branded names. Most people have probably heard of Benadryl, which is marketed as an antihistamine. Antihistamines are great drugs for rashes, pruritus, or itching, and rhinorrhea, or runny nose. Benadryl was actually one of the first antihistamines to be discovered. The structure is small and enables it to cross the blood-brain barrier. Here, it also blocks histamine receptors, and instead of helping with rash, it makes you tired. So a well-known side effect of Benadryl is that it can make you sleepy. So scientists got clever and created a bigger molecule that doesn't cross the blood-brain barrier. An example is fexofenadine, which is a third-generation antihistamine and doesn't make you feel tired. It is also known by its brand name Allegra. So this means that it does a great job of helping to alleviate your allergies and without the cost of added fatigue. Yet, big pharma companies now have a problem. They have huge warehouses full of diphenhydramine, which was clearly now inferior to new drugs. So, they decided to take advantage of its side effects of fatigue and slap a sleep aid label on it. So, the unfortunate truth here is that pharma may be taking advantage of the fact that you probably don't know your pharmacology, which allows them to rebrand their diphenhydramine as a sleep aid and trick you into buying it. Let's take a look at an example of the implications of this rebranding. Imagine you are at your local drugstore shopping for relief from your seasonal allergies. On the shelf right next door are sleeping aids, which reminds you that lately you have had trouble sleeping. So you decide to purchase a box of Zequil along with your generic allergy medication. Do you notice anything that these two medications have in common? That's right, diphenhydramine. 
I suppose they could write, fall asleep fast on the allergy relief drug, and advertise, compared to active ingredient in Benadryl on the z box. The whole point here is that diphenhydramine isn't just in all three sleep aids we deconstructed today, but it is also in many allergy medications. So please stop letting advertisers find so many ways to sell you the same ingredient. So as is tradition, let's review our claims one by one and give our final assessment. Claim number one, it's a nighttime sleep aid. Claim number two is non-habit forming. Claim number three, from the makers of NyQuil and Tylenol. Claim number four, it's pharmacist preferred and the number one recommended. Claim number five, simply sleep states, fall asleep fast and wake up refreshed. So for claim number one, this is true. These products are nighttime sleep aids. This is because a side effect of diphenhydramine is fatigue, and this is well established. For claim number two, this is also true. Diphenhydramine is an antihistamine that crosses the blood-brain barrier and makes you tired. Antihistamines are non-habit forming compared to other drugs like benzodiazepines. For claim number three, this is also true. The drugs are from the makers of the stated companies, and this claim serves to establish brand trust with the consumer. Claim four, for companies to use these slogans, they usually send out a survey to pharmacists and ask which brand they prefer for a specific drug. What they fail to report is that often the methodology is flawed. For example, in the survey, they can only give the pharmacist two drugs to choose from. And if Tylenol was chosen 50.1% compared to another drug that was chosen 49.9%, they can claim it was preferred. This type of advertising is faulty and should never influence your buying decision. We wouldn't know whether the methodology was flawed here. These types of things are investigated by the FTC National Advertising Division. For example, Reebok made run-tone shoes in 2001 and claimed that the shoes made your calf muscles work 11% harder. This was found to be false upon investigation and they had to pay $25 million for false advertising. So don't believe everything you read. Claim number five, this slogan in general is hard to prove. It is true that diphenhydramine will help you get to sleep, but to comment on how long it takes to work and how you will feel upon waking is a little aggressive and probably doesn't need to be on the packaging. Again, we always recommend that you view the advertisements and conduct your own research to help you formulate your own opinions. Our goal is to provide you with the necessary information and educational background to enable you to do so. For full disclosure, we are not commenting on whether you should take the reviewed sleep aids. Rather, we are breaking down their advertisements and assessing whether they are factually accurate. For these three sleep aids, based on our review and the claims that were made, we can say that they earn the rating of 4 out of 5 brains, since most of the claims are indeed true and this product will work. However, we have to include our 3 brain penalty for fundamentally deceptive and shady advertising. They try to sell you diphenhydramine twice, in turn taking double the money out of your pocket. Therefore, the final rating is one out of five brands. Thanks for joining us for this deconstruction. As always, if there is an advertisement you would like to see deconstructed, please let us know in the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the latest deconstructions. Thanks for watching.